All right, let's have a meeting. We don't have much time right now. From the submission day, we only get one week. Do we have any results that can be published? How is? Uh, I think we have a very nice uh, idea to track dynamic sparse signals. Uh, according to some initial simulations, it uh, works where older techniques fail. So uh, I believe it's worth building on that idea and taking it forward. Very good. So how about you, Sunin? Yeah, I, I applied his algorithm to some real data, and I mm -hmm. got the data from a, a NASA website, and it's a ozone data, a global ozone, but the data is incomplete. So I use his algorithm to infer the missing data, and the result is perfect. Oh, very good. So how about you, Jason? So again, we are, we're taking Everest algorithm and now applying it to acoustic signals. And the point of using acoustic signals is that they're very um, sparse in the frequency domain, but quite dense in the time domain. So they provide a perfect fit for the algorithm which Everest developed. And uh, we have achieved some promising results. And we're going to be showing them to you shortly in a demonstration. That's very interesting. So in this demonstration, we see the ozone density plotted over an area representing Earth with every frame being a different day. On the top, you can see the original measured data containing missing information. On the bottom, you can see the reconstructed data using our method. Hmm, that's interesting. Alfie, you have done a good work. It seems that we do have something that can be published. Hmm, very good, very good. What are you waiting for? Go back to your lab and finish the paper. So it seems that we have a lot of work to do. How about we get a coffee first? Ah, let's go to the bar instead. <laughs> yeah.